Welcome back everyone, it's the new comic book day, uh, oops, the video, new comic book day video for the week. Uh, just got back from spending a hundred dollars to fill my tank in my Jeep, that was fun. But I have new stuff, as you can see here, I bought a new box. This is the, if you remember from the 90s, the new Fantastic Four, they're on here with the old Fantastic Four. Pick that up. Uh, I've had all my Fantastic Four books in one of my original short boxes from the early 90s. I'm going to put them all in here. It's a lot easier to see where my books are when they got the characters all over the box. But I picked up a couple dollar books and new books and I have two slabs to show. One was a belated birthday gift and the other one was a purchase. So, let me get settled here. Try not to be so hunched over. And the first dollar book, Hawk and Dove, number one. Make some room here. And this is the other dollar book. I believe this is a second print. We got Red Hood and the Outlaws, number one. Got thunder going on outside, if you can hear that. But yeah, it's pretty bright. Florida, from this time of year through November, you'll get rain in the afternoons, almost guaranteed on and off here and there savage all new all different savage avengers number two this was a cover by cloak and dagger i saw the first season of that show i don't know why i kept watching i think because i got like three episodes in and it's like i might as well just finish it Venom number eight. I think the only reason I picked this up is because I heard there might be a new character. Poison Ivy one, total cover by. Batman one twenty four, the lotto cover by. Oh man, I almost forgot. Uh, the new Batman movie is ready for me to pick it up at the library. Totally forgot to do that before I got home. Uh, Miss Meow number one. This was a cover by. If you guys haven't seen, check out the Carla Cohen version. Uh, my backup LCS had the trade dress. If I remember correct, for $50. And the version for 100 there's no way I was paying that, but it, it looked great. It's a thick book. And Barbarella 10, the Cohen. Now that was it for the, uh, the floppies. Now we go into the slabs. Let me start with the one I purchased. Now I let this one go last year. Well, not go, but I did not purchase it at Phil's when they had it. I believe it was also the same grade. And this time around, I, I let it go again, and then a week passed, and I said, you know what, let me just pick it up before I lose out on it again. So this is 8.0, off-white to white, 
CGC Savage She Hulk number one. I've got this now in the collection. Let that sit there. Now the gift. This was a belated birthday gift from Brian over at Phil's. I'm going to put the, the link to his social media, Instagram and that stuff uh, in the description. This is Amazing Spider-Man number 59 at 7.5 off-white pages. And let's take a look at this. If the glare doesn't get to you, you can take it out of it. It's got some brutal glare. Feel free to talk amongst yourselves. Label says first appearance of brain washer. Key collector has a few other things listed on there. It's a great cover. 12 cents and here's the back awesome gift from an awesome guy I never thought I'd I never thought I'd get anything 100 or lower in the ASM run. Before this, I don't even remember what the lowest I had. Might have been in the 200s, the high 200s. But it's a great addition to the collection. And just might be the most financially valuable addition to the collection. Those down, and that was it. Let me know what you guys thought of that. And ooh, almost eight minutes means I gotta go. I'll see you.